What's happening, guys? We have uh, Molly. Molly's in the house today. Hi, baby. How's it going? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? That's right, she is. Good doggy. Who's that? Say hi. Say hi to the YouTube world, huh? Huh? Um, doors in. Uh, this was. These things are heavy, man. My God, they're heavy. I was trying to put this thing in by myself. Um, I had a floor jack right where Molly's standing, and I was trying to get the pins. I mean, get the hinges to line up, and then the door twisted on me, fell down, almost crushed my head. And if it wasn't for the welding rack, it hit the welding rack and bounced off it would have hit the Camaro and that would have been bad very very bad but uh I had my son Justin help me thank you Justin um he's not at the cars but oh well I mean I tried to get him into it but you can't you can't force somebody to like something or get involved in something if they don't want to but maybe later on um yeah, gap is pretty good. I got some fine tuning on the door. You can see the door is kind of rolled in. I got to actually get the door to roll back out. Um, this line's not bad. The gap is pretty close. And remember what I was saying on my earlier videos about this gap being a little tight. And by picking up this sail panel here, by picking it up, it actually takes this panel and it moves it back a little bit and I think that's going to be what that is um, the gap is really dark right now the gap there is fine um, it's really close it's really close a little tight right here but I know I can get that to work um, got a little bit of fine tuning down below the rocker panel it's a little a little wide here and it's a little narrower on this end, but it's not bad. Um, but this this door panel, if you can see it, I mean, it's it's beat beat to hell. That might have been when the door fell, because I don't recall that being like that. And uh, but like I say, I'm gonna use this door as a, just like a template just to set the quarter. I mean, it's a factory door. It's I know for the door panel is not. The skin is not shifted in any way, shape, or form, so I know I can be safe and use this as a as a template. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, other problems I have, I don't know what's going on. I've been opening and closing it. And finally, the last time, last night, I closed it. The, uh, the door's unlocked. And uh, 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 it doesn't want to open. It doesn't want to give it up. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if I... Uh, came off the linkage inside um, I gotta do something with that I'm gonna take the skin off and probably try to get at that uh, strike a bolt and see what's going on um, other than that it's looking good uh, I found a couple of little things in here when I was setting this door on this seam here I, I might have to take the welder out and zap it there's a couple of little spots that I can see and um, I mean it's not moving it's just there's a gap there so uh I think I'm just gonna weld it and then and then hit it with the uh, metal to metal. But other than that, the door went in pretty good, somewhat uneventful, and we're just gonna uh, see why I can't get this thing to open up. And then I'm gonna start on that rear skin. Um, just a little bit more minor adjustment on the door, which is to get the top to roll out a bit. And the gap here is nice, which on the other side it's really big, so I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to have to look at that and maybe address that uh, by even um, this this windshield pillar. I might even have to weld a piece of steel on the other side to get the gap a little tighter so it looks somewhat uh, aesthetically pleasing. But that's that. Hinges went in good. Everything's good. And we're going to work on this now. So, um, Everybody have a good day. Uh, maybe I'll get a video posted up later. Other than that, it's just a heads up. Alright guys, peace.